Colorado follows neighbors like Texas and Arizona by re-shuttering bars and nightclubs. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Colorado Today ordered bars, nightclubs, and other drink-only establishments to close again, 12 days after letting them reopen. Governor Jared Polis. Our country and the world has not yet figured out, in a pandemic, how to do bars and nightclubs safely. We just haven't. Those establishments now have 48 hours to close. Next week brings the introduction of Protect Our Neighbors, stage three of Colorado's virus recovery. We're not announcing today any automatic relaxing of regulation. There's nobody today that is uh, Protect Our Neighbors. We're putting forward the criteria. Protect Our Neighbors gives individual counties freedom to loosen restrictions based on testing, tracing, and hospital capacity. That could even mean bars reopen. It makes sense that communities with low transmission rates and strong public health capacity should be able to re reopen more and faster, and that's what Protect Our Neighbors is all about. Virus test Testing in Summit County has come a long way since March. Public Health Director Amy Wineland from a joint announcement with Centura today. Asymptomatic testing is available now through our sites. Universal testing through the county and Centura is free at five sites countywide, including three mobile sites, the Breck Rec Center on Tuesdays, FERC in Silverthorne Wednesdays, and Dillon Valley on Fridays. County Nurse Sarah Lopez. Part of our testing strategy is to provide the stage testing in various access points in the community where we feel like there's higher density housing, there may be concerns around transportation. Testing is open to literally anyone who suspects exposure, including tourists. Wineland. Anybody who feels that they've been exposed certainly can qualify for a test. They don't need to have a doctor's note. They can call the number and get an appointment for testing. Walk-up testing is also available. Call now and learn more at summitcountyco.gov slash testing. The final day of June started chilly this morning with a low of 29 degrees high atop peak 8 and temps in the low 30s from Loveland Pass to Vail. Meteorologist Greg Hansen with the National Weather Service. So we are uh, looking for a warming trend, you know, cooled off today. We've got some snow over some of the ridge tops. Today's dusting on the divide is the first snowfall here since June 9th when 6 inches fell on North Summit. The real story of June 2020, though, has been wind, starting June 6th with an ultra-rare multi-state storm known as a derecho. Usually those are the kind of things that develop out on the, on the Colorado Plains and then move on east uh, and affect the rest of the country. Uh, so for it to, to develop that much further west and, and move on through to the east was very uncommon. The derecho racked Winter Park with winds upwards of 100 miles per hour. Winds in Summit peaked again last week with gusts over 40 miles per hour Thursday and 30 to 35 miles per hour Friday. Craig Simpson, manager at Dillon Marina. A lot of the sailors up here, they've definitely been commenting on it. Um, this June has been a tough month to go out on a boat and fly sail without being run back to shore pretty quick. These rapid fire storms are known as downbursts, when moist air high in the atmosphere collides with dry air at ground level, powered by abrupt temperature shifts. Hansen. This has just been the summer for wind. We really haven't had a lot of thunderstorms producing hail. Really no tornadoes to speak of. On Lake Dillon, downbursts have been deadly, claiming a local sailor June 13th in conditions that would have qualified as a tropical storm on the coast. Simpson. If they named all these storms, we would probably have two to three to four of those a week. So you just really need to, to understand the power that you're playing with. But this final day of June could be an exception. With cool temps all day, chances are slim for an afternoon downburst. Copper opens for summer this Saturday, July 4th, with Colorado's only on-snow summer terrain park and Summit's only lift-served mountain biking. Opening Saturday morning is Bike Hall out of West Village and Woodward Copper, including the Woodward Barn and Central Park. Live music is replaced with weekly drive-in movies held Saturday nights, plus free guided hikes and outdoor yoga by reservation only July 4th through late September. See coppercolorado.com for the details. And a reminder that primary ballots are due today by 7 p.m. via mail or drop box at town halls across the county. Unaffiliated voters, remember to return just one ballot. If you send back both, neither one will count. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, tomorrow Wednesday is opening day of the inaugural Frisco Adult Trail Running Series. The Frisco Solo Series comes with four virtual races on the Frisco Peninsula from four to seven miles long with 48 hours to log your time online. Get the details and register at townoffrisco.com. And the Summit Trail Running Series also goes virtual this season. First race is next Wednesday, July 8th at the Mountain Thunder 5K and 8K in Breck. Learn more through BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.